right, we're here. About to start the ride at Starbucks. <laughs> and Chipotle. So I'm meeting, I'm meeting up with my friends today. It's a little overcast. This is gonna be a warm day, but it's a little overcast. I'm wearing my uh, West Coast down here. I was gonna wear my Daners today, but I'm still trying out the new seat. So I'm trying to, uh, I don't wanna mix up two things at once. I'm getting used to the new Daners and I'm getting used to the new seat. So I figured I'll wear the West Coast today. And that way I can just get used to the new seat and then later I'll, I'll, uh, I'll try out the Daners more. But I have already taken them on the bike and that video will show up soon. But in the meantime, we're heading up uh, to, uh, up north somewhere, Santa Clarita area. And there's the Iron Horse. There's my friend, Doc, uh, Mr. Ed over there, Dr. Ed. That's his cool street glide. And there's the Iron Horse. How you doing? Good. I just saw you guys rolling in. How's it going, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, I think he wants to back in here. Oh no, he wants to take that space. Wow, right, the crew's arrived. Mike, how you doing? Hey. So all right, so the crew's already arrived. Uh, we're gonna be heading up north. To a place called Salt Lake Tavern. Yeah, the weather's kind of misleading. It seems very cold, but as I uh, walking around a bit, it's getting kind of hot. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Did you get a new bike? Yeah, I thought you saw the new bike. No, I did it. Oh you my did? god, no, I, I I heard you got a road glide. I don't know, is this the new modern road glide that's a little <laughs> shrunken? I mean, woo! Look at this. Crystal Lynn. Yeah. Hardcore bike. Thank Hardcore. You. I'm it's telling you. It's, you know, 650. 650. So you got more power. Uh oh, that's more dangerous. Power. Dangerous in this woman's hands. Oh my gosh, you got a new bike. Everyone gets new bikes except for me. I'm the only one riding like a 100 year old chopper. <laughs> How you doing? What's up? Where's our, where's the glorious leader Johnny? I don't, oh, there he is. There he is. Uh, whew, this guy, who, uh, someone's left their lights on over here. I don't know whose beautiful bike that is, but their lights are on. Uh, no Goldwing buddies? Where's your Honda Goldwings? Oh, they, uh, they're, I don't know. <laughs> doing their own thing. Yeah. How you doing? Hey, I'll tell ya. So how come you're riding this when she just showed me that that little Yamaha is all you need? You don't need this big thing, right? Big She's not happy not. with her little Yamaha. <laughs> not happy. Not as I much as the Yamaha. I love my Yamaha. Oh, get okay. bad negative review on Yamaha. Oh well. No, the first... Suzuki. She doesn't oh, like Suzuki. Oh, it's a Suzuki. Oh, this is Suzuki. Yeah, this one is. Watch out. They all look the same to me. Yeah, and this just got a long four chopper on it. I, I don't really know what it is. <laughs> yeah, you're the chopper guy. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's killing me. I should be the infinity guy. <laughs> uh oh, here it is the breakout. And everybody tells me to buy. Hey, you doing, Sean? Man, good to see you. All right, let's go over here. See these goobers over here. Look at them. This guy brought his dog. He's a. Uh... You brought your dog? That's right. All right. So funny. He doesn't have to do it. You do it. You don't have to do it. You do it. Did you just get this dog? You've had it for a while. I had him. That's the one I rescued when we went to that shelter. Oh, yeah. Wow. What's the name of the dog? Casper. Casper. Okay. see that car that came right by? Wow, it looks friendly. All right. See, Starbucks hate our group because they're like, who are all these bikers? This, this guy with the triumph loves to honk his horn. Uh oh, another honk. It's a honk battle. I don't know if I should take off my sweatshirt or not. It feels a little hot, but once you're on the no. road, yeah. you know, it gets cold. So. And we're going through the mountains. Yeah, but one of the guys, I don't remember his name, but one of the dudes said it's like 87 degrees or something up there. So I don't know how the mountains would be hotter than down here, but oh well, Let's see how it goes. Bye. 
now it's supposed to be 80 degrees or 87, it's freezing. I don't know how true that is. but my buddies they like to wrap those engines and they like to honk their horns <laughs> and even that little siren I don't know if you heard it that's one of my other biker buddies you know there was a South Park episode where they were making fun of bikers because their bikers always are revving you're like rap 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 and I have to be honest there's some truth to that as you can see from this little portion of the video anyway uh, we are heading out the highway here and just wanted to break in because uh, the video we you know, the first part of the video, I was in front of basically the Starbucks strip mall thing. And then all of a sudden, I'm at a gas station and we're taking off. I just didn't record that part where we left the strip mall to the gas station. Because it was all freeway. I didn't think you just want to see it freeway. So, that's what that was about. So, anyway, we're cruising on up the road here. And on the right, you can see one of my buddies. He has a dog there, Casper. And it's a cute little dog, you know, it likes to be out in the wind. But I was telling my friend, you know, you should get a, a goggles or something for that dog. Because, the, you know, the wind is pretty hardcore. And he said, I did got goggles, but the dog keeps taking it off. Like, he, I guess he uses his paws or whatever. <laughs> and removes the goggles. But very cute little puppy. He actually saved, saved that puppy from, uh, I guess they were going to put it down uh, at some animal shelter or something. But he, he adopted it. So that's his dog. He actually adopted it for his son, but his son is, uh, you know, children always want a pet, but then when it comes to actually taking care of the dog, you know, they got other plans. You know, they're busy with their baseball or whatever they're doing. So it basically ended up being his dog. <laughs> but oh well, that's just how it goes. So now we're cruising up, up the hill. Well, we're at the base of it, but we're about to head up the hill. So uh, the plan was to go to uh, a place called the Salt Lake Tavern, which is up on the top of the hill there in Santa Clarita. But, spoiler alert, by the time we got up there, uh, we found that the place was closed. So instead we went to another place called the Rock Inn. And it's the Rock Inn is another famous biker bar kind of hangout. And um, I haven't been there in a while, so this was the first time I went up there in quite a while to the Rock Inn. I have gone up to the Salt Lake Tavern in the past, but the Rock Inn has been a while. But you know, the funny thing is that there is also another place in Malibu called the Rock Store. So there's the Rock Store in Malibu, and then there's the Rock Inn up in the Santa Clarita Hills. And uh, it's kind of confusing sometimes, even I get confused because they both start with rock. And the reason they start with rock is because both are made out of rocks. <laughs> so there you go, a little uh, biker uh, information. Uh, but one thing also I wanted to point out as we're moving on the mountain here, moving up the hill, that's interesting about uh, the Santa Clarita area, especially up at the hills, that they have a kind of an interesting little story, you know? Uh, supposedly back in like the 1880s, you know, the 1800s, 1880s, somewhere around that ballpark. So what would that be? That'd be after the Civil War, uh, probably the last bit of the what we would consider the Old West, you know, cowboys and all that stuff. Right before the modern world would just show up in the 1900s. 
you know, people who settled out there, like ranchers and some farmers and this and that, you know, whoever else, some, you know, whoever moved out to that particular area at that time, reported seeing an unusual animal. And they call it, I think they called it the devil bird. So basically, what they said the devil bird was, this was, remember, mind you, this was back in the 1880s, okay? So keep that in mind. What they claimed the devil bird was, was basically uh, a dinosaur. It was, you know, one of those pterodactyls, you know, those big pterodactyls that you've probably seen when you, you know, in dinosaur documentaries or when you were a kid, maybe you played with a pterodactyl. Anyway, supposedly in the 1880s, there was a pterodactyl, pterodactyl that would fly around up in the hills there and they would, it would attack people, it would eat people. And it supposedly had a big wingspan and it had these big eyes that, you know, kind of looked like they were very red, like, you know, devil eyes. And, you know, basically would swoop down and attack people. Now, of course, this was the days before the, it, way before the internet and, you know, modern technology and all that stuff. So who knows if it's true. But supposedly there was a guy who tried to kill the devil bird and he shot like a rancher, I forgot the dude's name, but he tried to shoot the devil bird, uh, but it didn't work. The devil bird just took the bullets and said, you know, screw you, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the devil bird. Who are you, you're nobody. And then, then the guy ran out of bullets, so the devil bird was coming down to eat him. So he, you know, he just used the rifle and just kind of traded, uh, used it like a bat, right? And just tried to hit the devil bird. <laughs> and eventually, I guess the devil bird flew away and, you know, that's kind of the end of the story. That guy, you know, he, he never saw the devil bird again, but supposedly many other people in that mountainous area have seen the devil bird. Now, I don't know, I haven't heard of anybody seeing it currently, like at this very moment, I don't know if people still see the devil bird, but, you know, if you know when the year of up in those hills, <laughs> maybe you see the devil bird. But, you know, these kind of things like devil birds and ghosts and, all this kind of stuff usually doesn't show up in the middle of the day. You know, it's usually at nighttime. And this place at night, you know, there's there's no lights. If you ever go up this hill at night, it is dark, pitch dark. So I'm sure it's pretty creepy. Uh, but yeah, the devil bird. Just chiming in real quick because we ended up, you're watching me right now riding down the road here. We're going the wrong direction. <laughs> so I kind of felt we were going the wrong direction. Basically, we were supposed to make a left turn, but we ended up making a right turn. And uh, that's what we're doing. We're going down the wrong way. So we're actually moving away from our destination as you're watching this video right now. You're watching me. Uh, I'm, showing, I'm trying to show you a little bit of the ranches uh, on the side of the road here. But uh, I'm actually going the right direction, so we're about to turn around just a little bit and get in the right direction. Okay, so we ended up at uh, uh, the Rock Inn instead of Salt Lake Tavern because Salt Lake Tavern is closed. <laughs>
the, the rocket is open, I'm hoping. Have you seen it? That's that rocket going place right there, right? They're in our mass for the rocket, or they don't care? I'm going to bring one. I'll bring one just in case. I never... You never know. Some place... The, the world we live in now, it's a... Some people are masks, and some people are not. Too bad the salt lick was closed. That's a nice place. It's a nice ride until we zigged instead of zagged. Yeah, but you know, I did like the scenery. <laughs> yeah, it has some like some uh, what you call ranch it and uh, yeah, farms, we'll whatever. We'll go ranches. faster next time. All right, we're here at the Rock Inn. Uh, we got massively detoured. <laughs> well, we not detoured, we were going to uh, go to the Salt Lake Tavern, but instead we ended up here. There's all the bikes. Chopper's over there. Uh, still working on that new seat. Uh, it's not bad, I wouldn't say it's as great as my cushion, but... Uh, but I think I'm just gonna keep it as it is because it's 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 overall it's not a bad seat. Uh, I just wish it was a little bit more cushiony. What are you doing over there? <laughs> you know, excited. So this is the Rock Inn. How you doing? What's up? So I haven't been to the Rock Inn in a long time, but. Uh, it's a cool little biker place up here on the top of uh, Santa Clarita, the hills of Santa Clarita, right on the border of Santa Clarita. And, uh, and um, Palmdale, Lancaster. Oh, look at this. You got the, the Hulkster here. Hulkamania, brother. You got the Hulk, Hulk motorcycle over there. Hulkamania. <laughs> Getting on. As the Hulkster would say, brother, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Got Sons of Anarchy over there. We just finished our meal here at the Rock, Rock Inn. And we're about to head back home in just a little bit here. Got some more bikes over here. Just taking you around, showing you the magic. Food was pretty good. I had a uh, had a good meal. I feel very full. This Camaro is a little a little dirty. It needs a cleaning. I love our home. They're huge. Got a Can Am Spider right there. Of course, the legendary chopper, the American Iron Horse Texas chopper. As I was mentioning, um, I was thinking of changing the seat out or putting my little cushion thing back on, but I think I'm just gonna live with live with the uh, with the seat. It's it's growing on me. Got the uh, Harley Deluxe right here. So they got a little cushiony thing there. <clears throat> this guy's also got a little cushiony thing here. Those are hikers. They're a country papa's store. Discipline of the disciples of the shadow. Ooh, on the shadow. Well, anyway, overall good ride. 
and um, we're about to head home. So, as always, ride like the wind. Don't let that wind ride you, my friends. Take care.